Have you ever looked at a picture of the mysterious Moai statues on Easter Island and wondered about the civilization that created them? These towering figures have captured the imagination of people for centuries, and the story of the Rapa Nui people is even more fascinating. Today, we're embarking on a journey to uncover the rise and fall of the Rapa Nui civilization, one of the most intriguing and mysterious cultures in human history. Welcome to You Learn Today. The Discovery of Easter Island Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, is a volcanic island located approximately 2,300 miles or 3,700 kilometers west of the coast of Chile. It is the easternmost island of the Polynesian Triangle, a region that encompasses Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island. The island is approximately 63 square miles or 163.6 kilometers squared in size, and it is known for its unique cultural heritage, including the famous Moai, massive stone statues. The first European to set foot on the island was Dutch explorer Jacob Roggeveen, who discovered the island on Easter Sunday in 1722. It was a chance encounter for Roggeveen and his crew, who were searching for a rumored southern landmass in the Pacific. The Dutch named the island Easter Island after the day of their arrival, but it has also been referred to as the Island of the Giants due to the towering moai that once dotted the landscape. These massive figures, some of which were over 30 feet tall and weighed over 75 tons, left explorers and historians puzzled for centuries and sparked a lasting fascination with the lost civilization of Easter Island. Today, Easter Island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it attracts thousands of visitors each year who come to admire the Moai and learn about the rich cultural heritage of the Rapa Nui people. The Rise of the Rapa Nui Civilization The Rapa Nui people were the indigenous people of Easter Island, and their rich cultural heritage is the key to understanding the mystery of the lost civilization of Easter Island. They have lived on the island for thousands of years, and they have a rich history, traditions, and cultural practices that are unique to their way of life. Rapa Nui are believed to have arrived on the island around 700 AD, and they quickly established a thriving society. They were skilled farmers and fishermen, and they were able to cultivate crops such as sweet potatoes, taro, and bananas. They also relied on the abundant marine life in the waters around the island for food, including fish, lobster, and seaweed. The Rapa Nui lived in small, tightly knit communities, and they had a hierarchical social structure with a ruling class known as the Ariki and commoners known as the Manahuni. One of the most remarkable things was their artistic and architectural achievements. They were skilled sculptures and builders, and they created the massive stone moai that are now so famous around the world. The moai are carved from solid volcanic rock weighing as much as 75 tons. These massive statues were placed along the coast and around the island, and they served as monuments to the Rapa Nui people's ancestors and as symbols of their spiritual beliefs. In addition to the Moai, the Rapa Nui people also built complex stone platforms known as Ahu, which served as the bases for the Moai. They also built large underground tombs called Toki, which were used to store the bones of their ancestors. The Rapa Nui people had a rich spiritual life, and they believed in a powerful deity called Maki Maki, who is associated with creation, fertility, and the renewal of life. The Decline of the Rapa Nui Civilization One of the world's greatest mysteries, the collapse of the Rapa Nui Civilization, is a story of ecological catastrophe, cultural disintegration, and human tragedy. The once thriving civilization of the Rapa Nui people was brought to its knees by a combination of environmental degradation, resource depletion, and foreign exploitation. It is assumed that it started with the depletion of their natural resources. The island of Easter Island is small and isolated, and the Rapa Nui people relied heavily on the island's limited resources, including its forests, marine life, and fertile soil. As their population grew, they began to overuse these resources, leading to deforestation, soil erosion, and the decline of marine life. 
The loss of these resources had a profound impact on the Rapa Nui people, and it was one of the key factors in their civilization's decline. With the arrival of the Europeans, they also brought new diseases, such as smallpox, which decimated the Rapa Nui population. The Europeans also enslaved many of the Rapa Nui people, forcing them to work on plantations and mines, and they took control of the island, establishing a colonial administration. Internal strife and warfare accelerated the Rapa Nui civilization's downfall. As resources like food and water became scarce, the once united Rapa Nui people became divided and engaged in conflicts. These wars were marked by their brutality and violence, further reducing the already dwindling Rapa Nui population. By the late 19th century, the civilization was in a state of decline, and its former greatness was a distant memory, with its population only a fraction of what it once was. Conclusion Even now, the Moai of Easter Island and its lost culture managed to capture people's attention. The story of the Rapa Nui people is a testament to the ingenuity, creativity, and resilience of the human spirit, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of preserving our cultural heritage. Whether you're a historian, an archaeologist, or just a curious traveler, the mystery of the Moai and the lost civilization of Easter Island is a journey well worth taking. So next time you look at a picture of the mysterious Moai, remember the incredible story of the Rapa Nui people and their incredible legacy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational content.